You are the fire. Today on Trisha, Eddie wants to marry Naomi. Tell me about your relationship. We have an amazing relationship, you know. But before he can do that... You have some secrets, if I can use that word. Does she know about this? She has no idea. She'll hear his confession today. I'm $70,000 in debt, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of different women on the side. A lot. What? Girls! Oh, yeah, girls, for sure, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know you! For the money oh! night, he loves white women. If it ain't snowing, I ain't going. And his brown sugar is not happy about it. Like, no one is going to put her lips on you but your woman. Is he getting down on the lighter side of town? Are you having a secret relationship with a co-worker? Oh, oh no! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. She found a used condom on the floor of their bedroom. So I woke him up, and uh, he ran to the bathroom and turned the shower on. And when I turned around, there was a used condom on the floor. It wasn't mine. And he's accusing her of cheating. When I pick up my phone, he thinks that I'm calling or texting another man. He doesn't trust you? No, not at all. Do you think she's a cheater? Yes. Two lie detector tests. Did you use the condom that Summer found on the floor? <laughs> what did you do with the ex? I spent the night over there. Are you serious? Really? And one couple at breaking point. Get off of me, no! today on Trisha. Please welcome Eddie. Now, for the last six years, he's been in love with the woman of his dreams, his girlfriend, Naomi. But he fears that today she will walk away from their relationship forever. You see, Eddie says he's ready to confess that he has been living a secret double life. Oh. And once his shocking secrets are revealed, he could lose the one person who has ever truly loved him. So let's take a look at their relationship through the eyes of the woman he hopes to one day marry. I met my boyfriend Eddie in high school and we lost touch and about six years ago we reconnected and we fell madly in love and we've been together ever since. Like every relationship, we've had our ups and downs. In the beginning, Eddie cheated on me and I forgave him. We have a great life together. We go to beach houses on the weekends. We travel a lot together. We go out to dinners all the time. The only problem between us is Eddie has gone so much because he's a truck driver and I miss him a lot. But when he comes home on the weekends, sparks fly, it's like we're in high school again. It's upsetting to me because I thought that we had an open, honest relationship and that he could talk to me about anything. I know that Eddie is keeping a secret from me. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm terrified of what he has to say. So, Eddie, you have some secrets, if I can use that word, that you want to tell Naomi today. That's right, ma'am. So what is it that you have been hiding from her? Well, I'm $70,000 in debt, and uh, they're looking to repossess my truck. Hang now. on, hang on, wait, wait, wait. You're $70,000 in debt. Does in she debt. know about this? She has no idea, and uh, I keep a separate mailing address for my mail so she doesn't receive any of my, my bills or anything like that. And so like, where's all this money gone? Not I all. I what it is, but I like to play the lottery quite a lot and I like to uh, gamble quite a lot. Now, does Naomi know anything about this gambling? She does know I like to watch sports. Sometimes I say, you know, I got a gentleman's wager here or there. She thinks it's all casual. Naomi said in, in what we just saw mm. that at the beginning of the relationship, you, you cheated, but you, as a couple, you recovered from that. That's true. I think you have some things to tell her about women. I do. Um, it's part of my, um, I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of different women on the side. A lot. I mean, for, when you're trucking, yeah. When I, where do you see these women? I drive up and down the coast. Uh, are these my, regular girlfriends? These, these are. I have a couple girls that I see that are call girls. Call two, girls. Two call girls. I'm seeing. So where do you have sex with these women? I mean, occasionally I get a motel. They have this place that um, just past Fresno. It's more like a, a cat house type place where you can go. And, you go there? I, I've gone there before too. Do you yet. have sex in your truck? I have had sex in my truck before. Yes. You've had sex in your truck. Now, do you? Do you think she's going to stay with you when she's heard this, or do you think she's going to run a mile? I honestly hope that she does stay with me. I hope she stays with me. All right, well, what I'm going to do now 
is, uh, as I said before, Naomi hasn't heard any of this. We're going to bring Naomi out, and this is where you get an opportunity, and hopefully the audience will be quiet enough so you get the opportunity to tell her what you really need to tell her. All right, so everyone, please welcome Naomi. I thought we were supposed to hug or something. Kiss. Hi. I miss you, Naomi. <laughs> Hi, Naomi. Why did you greet Eddie like that? I'm interested in. Um, cause I'm I'm upset that I had to come all the way here for him to tell me something. Tell me about your relationship. We have an amazing relationship. Um, we do everything together. We go on trips together. I, I love him a lot. So, do you see a future with Eddie? Do you see the two of you together? Yeah, I mean, I want to have a family, I want to have kids, I want to buy a house and, you know, get all together. Well, as you know, um, Eddie is here because he, he says he wants to unburden himself. Am I, am I using that? Right. I want to tell you something today. Okay, so you first of all, well, I'll let you start. I'll just come out and say it. I'm, I'm majorly in debt. How, how much are you in I'm debt? About seventy thousand in debt. I got a gambling problem. I, I like to play the lottery. I like to play um, all what? sorts of sports. You know, I watch sports, baby. I'm usually betting on them, though. And I, I hate to tell you that, baby. It's just been, and it's been truck. bothering me so much. And my truck. I work hard to keep food on the table, and you gamble our money away. Oh. My truck might be getting repossessed next week. What? Because I owe money on my truck. You brought me all the way here to tell me this. You are so chicken. And I have something else I've been to have to tell you. You know, early on when we first met, how I had an experience where I cheated on you. Yeah. Baby, that's not the only time. And I, I, I um, there's, there's some girls that I see on the road. Girls? Oh, yeah, girls, for sure, yeah. <laughs> girls. Um, I'm so, I can't. Do I have to stay here? Because I don't know if I... I, I love you so much. You're my heart, and I, I I wanted to tell you this because, I mean, I don't, I don't know You're how else to tell. I don't know how else to tell you. I know you're upset right now. I know you're upset. You are a piece. Of you're a piece of crap. I don't even know you. Can I ask when the last last time you slept with one of these prostitutes? Monday or? night. After the Monday night thing. Oh. What would you say if Naomi had told you? Mm what you've just told her. Would you be cool with it? Would you be happy to continue a relationship? I am not the jealous type, but that would be very hard to get over. So what are you going to do about all of this? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do about all of this? I'm going to um, buy her a really nice gift when I get back. You can buy those other women gifts. You can buy I'm them gonna, gifts. I'm going to cook for her when I get back. I'm going to seduce her like I normally do in all my right. house okay. and handle okay. business. Okay, I'm going to stop this right here because there's two things that are happening here I don't believe that you can you <laughs> have you have a condition and and just just bear me out Naomi. is that what they call it it's a condition condition I what <laughs> use whatever word you use but there's no empathy coming from there's no empathy or true empathy or so sympathy bad. coming from you Eddie and I don't want to label what that condition is but I really seriously do hope, and I, I'm not sure that you will, when I talk about getting help, mm -hmm. engaging with some service for some long-time assistance. Hey, if I could afford that, I'd be doing that, ma'am. I definitely You could agree. afford it, oh. but you've blown it on whores That's, and I gambling. Agree. I have. I agree. <laughs> Naomi, I guess, uh, and you were talking about earlier maybe having a future, so... There's no future. Well... Well, it's better that you know this Baby, don't now. Want, oh, we'd have the tallest children. Look at us. Go we'd have hell. beautiful children. We would have go beautiful children. We would have beautiful children. Oh, sorry. Wouldn't we have children? We're both tall. We produce a nice product. You no, know, here's the problem. The sign of a mentally healthy child and how children pick up things are through empathy and through feelings now, through their word? parents. Empathy? Yes, exactly. You don't know what it means. Uh, That's the problem. Sympathy? No, empathy. empathy. It's being able to feel the way, and this gentleman said it, you know, it's able to put yourself in someone else's situation and truly feel how, how they would feel. Yeah, and I have a hard time doing that. Yes, <laughs> and you should... Get some help in finding out why that is. I don't want to label the no, situation, I, but you need I to be feel happy. very isolated on the road sometimes. Yeah, I, I hear what you say. It's a very difficult job that I yeah, put myself yeah. into. Naomi is not the help 
you need. She's not there to bail you out of a tight yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. always good for me, though. In one, way, in one way, I'm sorry that you had to go through this. In, a, in another way, I don't believe it would have come out unless you did go through this. OK? But I had to tell you like this. I had uh, to tell you. I had to tell you today. You are so chicken. Up next, he loves white women. If it wasn't snowing, he wasn't going. I think he's cheating on me with one of his co-workers. But you already think he's guilty. Guilty. When the truth comes out, the gloves come off. Are you having a secret relationship with a co-worker? Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. She found a used condom on the floor of their bedroom. When I turned around, there was a used condom on the floor. And the, and the wrapper was on the dresser. How did he explain that? Do you believe the man you are madly in love with is cheating on you? If so, call The Trisha Show at 1-855-4-TRISHA. That's 1-855-487-4742. Lovers' Lies and Ugly Truths. Get off of me, no! Today on Trisha. Rolisha. Now, Rolisha says she's never loved a man the way she loves her boyfriend, DJ. But she claims DJ has a case of the wandering eye. And he has a fondness for white women. And now she suspects he's been cheating. Oh. Well, Relisha says she's tried everything to keep her man in line. In fact, she moved them out of their predominantly white area in Nebraska to a more racially diverse area of Atlanta, Georgia, just to keep him out of trouble. Let's take a look at Relisha's story. I met Derek when I was 14. He chased after me for three years. Finally, I gave in and he won my heart. Me and Derek ended up breaking up because I had a one night stand and ended up getting pregnant with another man's child. After 12 years of being apart, I finally got back the love of my life. Everything is going great. And a year later, he cheats on me and gets another girl pregnant. We decided to move out of Nebraska to start anew and to get away from the white girls because if it wasn't snowing, he wasn't going. We moved to Georgia, where it's the mecca for black folks, thinking that he wouldn't find a white girl, but he found him a bright girl. I think he's cheating on me with one of his coworkers. If he fails this test, I'm done, and it's all about me. Wow. So tell me what you've done. You've done a bit of detective work yourself. I have done some detective yeah. work. You checked one his phone? I, I checked his phone. I, I had GPS, Sprint. GPS, so wherever he would go, I'd push the, you know, I'd constantly be on GPS, Sprint locator, see where he's at. And, and then stuff. the spray? The spray, let me tell you. He came home one night, jumped in the shower. What? That's not our normal routine. We sit back, we chill. Yeah. Then he may get in the shower. And he had to jump in the shower. And I was like, okay, well, hey, can I get in the shower with you? All of a sudden, he doesn't hear me. I pull back the curtain, he's washing his stuff. <laughs> wait a minute. Straight wait, off? Wait, yeah, no, you know you wash yeah. up here first. Now, what about this poem you've written? He's guilty. Yeah, let, let's hear that, because you're, you're a poetess, and this is how you feel about him. Go on. Guilty, written all over your face, too late to cop to a misdemeanor. It's all in your demeanor, the way you carry yourself. It's about you and no one else. Innocent until proven guilty, your actions prove guilty when you're with me. Stop trying to kiss me, tell me you miss me. This isn't an unsolved case, it's written all over your face. I won't accept your innocent plea, look what you're doing to me. Painfully, shamefully, you drain me while you claim to be the one for me? Sentenced to life to eternity, but I wanted to believe in we. Should have been weary when we pled no contest, just a way not to confess. You say there's not enough evidence, but I'm convinced. I was blinded by the excitement, you're not the right man, you're under indictment. 25 to life, man. Wow, that's powerful stuff. So, Felicia, it sounds like you 
you already think he's guilty. Oh, I, I know he's guilty. He plays, when he comes out here, he's such a laid back guy. Yeah. He's gonna say, I'm just flirtatious and all the girls just like me and just all, no. Now has your sex life changed? It has, to, there, it has changed. There's times where we used to have sex three, four times a day. Ooh. There's times I go to bed. Yeah, 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 I'm a freak. <laughs> 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 there's, there's times I go to bed naked, complete. He doesn't even touch me. Doesn't even touch me. I'm laying there naked. What, what, what's going on? You don't want to touch you me. You think what's... he's getting it somewhere else? You gotta be. So you what, gotta be. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if the lie detector test comes back and says he has been cheating on you? If he comes back, I'm through. I'm gonna do me, and he can do him. together since you were what you've been lusting no, after I've, each other since you were kids are you really gonna give it all away if he is guilty been there done that you know I've been married twice you know we've been together off and on so and you, both you're of my guys you're were married. yeah yeah we're not married you we've talked been together about it we've talked about it but we've been together constant for the last seven years if you like it, you should have put a ring on it <laughs> you know Okay, what if he passes the lie detector test? He passes the test, he is the greatest guy in the world and he is the man <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, DJ claims he is just a flirt. He can't help it if women find him charming. So watch out, girls out there. When we come back, we'll hear his side of things and we will get to the lie detector test results. <laughs> Up next, he loves white women. If it ain't snowing, I ain't going. And his brown sugar is not happy about it. <laughs> and later. Did you use the condom that Summer found on the floor? <laughs> and ugly truths. Get off of me, no! Today on Trisha. We're back with Rolisha, who says she's constantly catching her boyfriend DJ canoodling with female co-workers. So let's hear how he feels about it. DJ, come on out. Hi. How you doing? So what's going on, DJ? My woman's crazy. <laughs> she's crazy, she's insecure, and she needs to be on some I'm insecure. medication. I'm insecure, why? Why am I insecure? Because I'm a flirt, and I love it's women. It's not because women you maybe cheated me. in the past? Yeah, but I'm, that's okay, in the past. Okay, so you made me insecure. The past is the past. The past is the past, but you if we let move it somewhere our else, why are you flirting with somebody else? It's not a flirt, it's like I start to talk, and they start to talk, and we be talking. You admit it. You admit it. You admit it to flirting with her. Yes, oh, I do. Yeah, but it's not like I want to. You know, I just hey. Are you, you look cute today? To How you doing today? No, I'm not attracted to her. At first, you wasn't flirting, but then you admitted you were flirting. At first, you didn't hug. Then you admitted. Well, she hugged you talking about she good job. She hugged me. She hugged me. Talking she about hugged good me job. Saying, good job. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Has she kissed you? Yeah, she kissed me on my cheek. She did, but it wasn't like kiss me on my lips like. And what you I want to be she with you. you? Did you check her? I, no, I just bagged up. I didn't check oh, her. I but, didn't but check her. But you have a girl. Should... Why didn't you say I have a because girl? Because it was this a friendly kiss. It wasn't no kiss like no we want to go put somewhere. No one put her lips on you, but your woman. But it wasn't going anywhere. If it was, if it was, a, if it was a going nowhere, you should have made it clear to her. You shouldn't have just walked away. I, yeah, I should have. I should have, and but, I admit that I was but, wrong. I admit that I was wrong. Just let me ask you about a few other things. These um, stains. I don't know what the stains is, and that's why we're gonna get this test out the way. And once this test come back, then we do. The, the light will shine. The light will shine. The light will shine. And what is this slogan that you have? It, no, I retired that slogan. Retired. Yep. Yeah, it used to be, if it ain't snowing, I ain't going. So why do you have that slogan? Yeah. Because I love white women. Right. I mean, but I, I mean. So I'm safe. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, I'm I'm way out of your league. <laughs> oh. 
Because you already got a woman. Yes, you're right about that. Yeah, you know. And I love my woman. I love my woman with all my being. I do. You do? I love her with, yes, I love her with but, all my being. Okay. I love her with all my being. All right. So you're saying the stains were nothing. The stains and was how, not from having sex with anyone what are other than her. And it's what about not, your sex life? Has that changed? She yes, said, it's changed. But I mean, how can you be? She's on my back all the time. I'm not in the mood. I don't want to. I don't want to have sex with you and we fighting and fussing. And yes, angry sex or whatever. No. No. Uh, no. So no. we've never gotten into an argument and then had sex. Not like we've been. I mean, we gonna get it out the way today. Okay. Yeah, today is the right. day. We gonna get it out the way. And I just want. But this, is, this has really been eating you, hasn't it, Renisha? It has been eating me. You I've lost weight behind this. So okay. shall we find out if you've done anything? Yes! Okay. For sure! For sure! What? Let's find out! Okay, well, there is a man who is going to help us uncover the truth. Our yes. polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta, come on out. I have the questions. I don't know what you said until I read it from here. And Tim will tell us whether you were lying or telling the truth. Here was the question we first asked you. Was the stain Relisha found on your pants from you having sexual contact with someone other than her? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined. Coming up, she found a used condom on the floor of their bedroom. When I turned around, there was a used condom on the floor. And the, and the wrapper was on the dresser. How did he explain that? It wasn't mine. Two lie detector tests. Did you use the condom that Summer found on the floor? <laughs> and one couple what? at breaking point. What did you do with the eggs? I spent the night over there. Are you serious? Do you believe the man you are madly in love with is cheating on you? If so, call The Trisha Show at 1-855-4-TRISHA. That's 1-855-487-4742. Lovers Lies and Ugly Truths. Get off of me, no! Today on Trisha. I met Derek when I was 14. He chased after me for three years. Finally, I gave in and he won my heart. Everything is going great. And a year later, he cheats on me and gets another girl pregnant. I think he's cheating on me with one of his coworkers. One day, he came home, and there's a stain on the inside of his pants. Not at the top where he may have spilled some mayonnaise, some ranch dressing. No, on the inside of his pants, between his knee and his waist. If he fails this test, I'm done. So what's going on, DJ? My woman's crazy. Why am I insecure? Because I'm a flirt. At first you wasn't flirting, but then you admitted you were flirting. At first you didn't hug, then you admitted, well, she hugged you talking about she good She hugged stuff. me! I have the questions. I don't know what you said until I read it from here. And Tim will tell us whether you were lying or telling the truth. Here was the question we first asked you. Was the stain Relisha found on your pants from you having sexual contact with someone other than her? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined. Derek was being truthful. Oh boy. Thank you, thank you. Other than the women she knows about, that's the cheating we mm -hmm. talked about, have you had any sexual contact with anyone other than Relisha? You said no, Tim. The lie detector determined that Derek was not being truthful. Oh. 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 In the last two years, oh. have you made out with a co-worker? You said no, Tim. The lie detector determined Derek, again, was not being truthful. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'd have it. Okay, okay, just, just, just sit down. Just sit down, calm down. Just sit down, stay, no, don't take your shoes off because I know what that means. Make sure they're... <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Are you having a secret relationship with a coworker that you are hiding from? Ralisha, you said no. Tim? The lie detector determined Derek was not being truthful. Oh, oh no! 
come on. I ain't got no sexual. Listen, 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 listen. Yes. You've got, a, you've got some choices here. You have an opportunity here, while I'm here between the two of you, to tell the truth. <laughs> All right. Be honest. Now, what I'm thinking is happening. You rely. You're the breadwinner. Yes. You rely on this job for money. Yes. She's a cute girl. She's. Maybe putting out, uh, women do that sometimes. You're in right. a club situation and sometimes the lines get blurred. It might not be the, the full way, but there is some attachment going on, some flirting, <laughs> which maybe crosses the line. And I'm thinking, you, you love her. I do you love her. I but love her on the I'm other, being. Yeah, but on the other hand, you're an attractive guy. You've got the wit going on. Other women, if they cross a line with you, I think it would be hard to say no. And I think it crossed the line and you thought, whoa, 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 whoa. But I did not sleep with her. I did not sleep with no, her. No, but and maybe you got turned on and maybe a, making out, you know. Never made out. Never. never no. Come on. No. Come on. No. Well, the closest thing we came from was a hug and a kiss on her cheek. Did That's you get the, aroused? The yeah, she's a woman. I mean, not so much as aroused, but thoughts went through my head. Yeah. But and nothing so happened. When you're riding in the car and you're talking and you have a friendship with her, right. a closeness. Yes. You're supposed to be my best friend. We've been together for, off and on for 23 years. <laughs> Well, I tested Derek uh, yesterday. I went over the questions with him. I specifically worded the question to making out, and he had significant reactions to the question. He also had significant reactions to having sex with somebody other than Alicia. Oh, so maybe so it wasn't a coworker. Not, not my coworker. I, well, who? I don't, I don't know someone. It wasn't. I think you've crossed some lines, and I don't think you realize where they've what been you crossed. Okay, but what I'm saying is. What you do from, I, I think you're damned if you did, damned if you didn't, because right. you said before, the religious not going to let go of it. What do you want to do from here on in? Genuinely want to do? What, uh, what I genuinely want to do is not be with him, because if he can't tell me the truth, I'm telling you the truth. He just said you were. Well, I'm not sleep, I didn't sleep with the girl. No, I didn't sleep with nobody. No, you you have a secret relationship. That I specifically put secret. I specifically asked the question. I changed the question to. Because the question at first was, are they still flirting when I'm not around? I switched that question to, are you having a secret relationship? To see if it's secret, if you're hiding it. It's not different that if you're flirting because you're a flirt, already you know you're flirting when I'm not around. It's I want to know if it was a secret, and the secrecy is what it is. You're keeping it a secret, like you just said, because there's certain things that you... You should be able to tell me everything, and I'm supposed to be your I best should, friend. I should, but you blow up about everything. Was it like that before you started? No. With her? It no. wasn't. So that's the reason, DJ, because you have a relationship with another female and you're leaving me out. You're not including me. <laughs> but there's a reason why you have the relationship in the first place. Right. Okay, look. And that's what's tearing us apart. I actually think the two of you could work it out, but you would need to address some issues, and so would you. Yeah, and I know, and that's one of the reasons I came to the show, because it's emotional. Would you, what can I if say? If it was the other way around, you'd be hurt. I'd be hurt. You would. Yeah, I'd be hurt. Yeah. So you've got some very heavy decisions to make about it. Well, we ain't going to be able to say it unless he be honest. Okay. If he can't be honest, we ain't going to say it. No! All right, I've got, I've got to end this part here. I do think that this relationship can be saved, but I think the first person that you got to stop kidding is yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sit down with our counsellor? Yeah, we do. Yeah? Do you yes, want to do that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, stay with us. We'll be right back. Up next, she found a used condom on the floor of their bedroom. He said that it was his friends. <laughs> and he's accusing her of cheating. Do you think she's a cheater? <laughs> well, I'm trying to see the results. Two lie detector tests. <laughs> and one couple in crisis. Get off of me. So what do you do? Do you leave together or separately? Get off my stage! Do you believe your boyfriend or husband is having sex with one of your family members? If so, call The Trisha Show at one 4 trisha That's 1-855-487-4742. Lovers Lies and Ugly Truths. Get off of me, no! Today on Trisha. All right, I want everyone to meet Summer. 
Now, Summer is here today to prove to the man she loves, Tony, that she's not the cheater he believes her to be. You see, Summer admits she cheated way in the past, but she says she was woman enough to come clean about it. But since then, Summer feels Tony not only has lost complete trust in her, but Summer believes Tony is using her past infidelity as an excuse to lead a secret sex life. Listen to this. When I first met Tony, I thought things would be great. He seemed like a good guy, he seemed like he was an honest person. And I mean, we spent all of, all of our time together, everything was great in the beginning. My relationship with Tony now is very chaotic. All we do is argue. We're not really happy like we were before. When I've gone through Tony's phone, I've seen numerous messages to other women offering oral sex. I confronted him about it. He denied it as he does everything. There was a used condom on the floor and the condom wrapper was on the dresser. And there was two wristbands from a nightclub on the floor. When I woke Tony up and confronted him about it, he ran straight to the shower. I mean, who takes a shower at 5 o'clock in the morning? Tony's been accusing me of cheating. I believe it's because he has a guilty conscience because he's the one doing wrong. I can't go out with my friends anymore without him thinking I'm with another man. When I pick up my phone, he thinks that I'm calling or texting another man. It's just extremely aggravating. I can't live like it anymore. So if he's cheating, I just I have to be done with it. He doesn't trust you? No, not at all. But you said that uh, in what we just saw there, that one time you found a condom on the floor? I came home. Yeah. And he was asleep in the bed. Right. So I woke him up. And he ran. He looked really guilty. He ran straight to the bathroom. This is after you found his condom on the floor. No, I hadn't found it yet. I woke oh. him up, and uh, he ran to the bathroom and turned the shower on. And so I thought that to be kind of odd. So yeah. I went to go to the bathroom to see what was going on. And when I turned around, there was a used condom on the floor. Oh. And the and the wrapper was on the dresser, and there was two wristbands from a nightclub on the floor. How did he explain that? Um, he said that his friend was there that night with him, and that it was his friends. But I later I later found out that. Um, he actually brought a girl home. Now, one time, I understand, he, he had a black eye. He said that a little girl had hit him in the face with a toy. <laughs> I received a phone call from his friend, and his friend said that he had actually picked him up, they were hanging out, yeah. he caught Tony texting his girlfriend, mm. and they got into an altercation, and that's how he got hit in the eye. But he doesn't trust you. Mm -mm. What does he do? Does he go through your phone? Yep. If I pick up my phone, I'm always texting another man. If I leave, I'm out with, no with other men, always. What are you going to do if you find out today that uh, Tony's been lying? I, I, I need to be done with it. I, I can't, I cannot live like this anymore. <laughs> two sides to every story so it's time now to hear Tony's side. Tony come on out. Hi Tony. I ain't doing nothing. Do you think she's a cheater? Yes. The evidence you have for that? I mean it's not really evidence just little stuff like I'll hear her answer the phone and I'll hear her say his name you know one of her exes. This and is then, the ex yeah. Yeah one of the exes and then She'll go run outside or run to the bathroom. I'll be like, who are you talking to? And she'll come and say, my friend or my mom. It's always something like that. But you always run out and hide when you're on your phone. Every <laughs> phone call. Tell me about the condom on the floor. Well, mm. it wasn't mine, first of all. Of course. I know how that sounds. I know how it sounds. I know how it sounds. Look, me, she was out with her friend. I went to the bar when one of my friends met me up there. Yeah. Long story short, he brought a girl back with him. And you and the wristbands from the disco or the I, nightclub? I don't even remember wristbands. You so don't? I'm be totally they were there. Honest. But have you ever seen any texts on his phone? That oh, make, yeah. Oh, saying what? Yep. Um, asking, could he perform oral sex on them? <laughs> that is yeah, that's could, not could true. Could he take them to that's lunch? That's not true at all. Or, hey, what's up? I'm not going to lie. The girl was texting me, yeah. and she was, she was wasted. Have you ever found anything on her phone? <laughs> Well, <laughs> you know, check, check this out. I went out and bought her this beautiful sundress. You know what I'm saying? It was, she looked oh adorable gosh. in it. All right, so she comes yeah. home from a night of partying. You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind, the dress I just paid for. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The dress I paid for, for yeah. her to look good in. Yeah. So I go through her phone. It's a picture of her, one of her ex's tongue in her mouth in the dress I bought her, yo. Whoa. Are you serious? Really? Like, you saw the picture, and, but that wasn't she, me. And she that stayed the night so over there. That was true. Who that stays was the night at the ex's house? Hang on, just a minute. Yo. You stayed the night at the ex's which, house? Which, which ex at which time? How about that? D did you do with the ex? I spent the night over there. With him? Mm -hmm. In the bed? No. Oh. Come on. <laughs> now, I know, as you know, we gave both of these uh, guys a lie detector test. I just want to... Yeah. Come out of here. Yeah, I'm trying to, to see result. this. Huh? I'm trying to see the results.
Tim Acosta, our polygraph examiner, is down there in the front. Okay. I'm scared. Oh. Huh? So we asked you, the first thing we asked you, do you intend on marrying Summer? You said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined. Up next, two lie detector tests. <laughs> and one couple in crisis. Get off of me. So what do you do? Do you leave together or separately? For free tickets, call 203-905-6555 or go to our website at thetrishashow.com. Lovers lies and ugly truths. Get off of me, no! Today on Trisha. When I first met Tony, I thought things would be great. When I've gone through Tony's phone, I've seen numerous messages to other women offering oral sex. I confronted him about it. He denied it as he does everything. There was a used condom on the floor and the condom wrapper was on the dresser. And there was two wristbands from a nightclub on the floor. When I woke Tony up and confronted him about it, he ran straight to the shower. I mean, who takes a shower at 5 o'clock in the morning? Tony's been accusing me of cheating. I believe it's because he has a guilty conscience because he's the one doing wrong. Now, I know, as you know, we gave both of these uh, guys a lie detector test. I just want to... Yeah. Oh, come out of here. Yeah, I'm trying to see this. Huh? I'm trying to see the results. Tim Acosta, our polygraph examiner, is down there in the front. I'm scared. Oh, huh? So we asked you, the first thing we asked you, do you intend on marrying Summer? You said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. Aww. <laughs> we asked you, do you love Summer? You said yes. The lie detector determined that Tony was being truthful. Aww. <laughs> We <laughs> asked you, did you use the condom that Summer found on the floor to have sexual intercourse with another woman? Yeah. You said, you said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Tony was not being truthful. <laughs> The total honest truth is that I, I swear on everything, I did not. I remember the girl being there. I remember whatever. Look, but look, I honestly believe. You were so drunk. I talked to her, I talked to her a couple days later, and she was like, why are you tripping for? It's not like we did anything. So yesterday, you, you I'm believe. not going to lie, I texted oh. her, and I was like, are you sure we didn't do nothing? Because I really. You texted her yesterday. Because I was, I, want, I was like, are you sure we didn't do nothing? So you still got that girl's number? Yep. <laughs> Summer's results. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. Oh. How did I Summer that horrible. news? Uh oh, she said. So we asked Summer, "Do you love Tony?" You said yes. Tim. The lie detector determined that Summer was being truthful. Yeah. <laughs> we asked Summer, "Do you want to marry Tony?" You said yes. Tim. The lie detector determined. Summer was being truthful. Wow. We asked you, so during your relationship with Tony, have you had oral sex with another man? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Summer was not being truthful. Oh. sexual intercourse with any other man. You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Summer was not being truthful. Oh! What? Does that include the, does that include the ex that that's I was other, with? That's though? other than the ex, other than what I knew about, right? I did ask her about that, yeah. and it was yeah. in the ex, yes. So what do you do? Do you leave together or separately? And if I'm you done. You're done? It's not going to get any better. Come on, baby. The trust is gone. It's been gone. We've already been through enough. It's just going to get worse from here because now oh, I know God. for a fact, even though that condom should have been enough proof for me, yeah. this is definitely like he can't deny this now. Now he's admitting to me that days after he knew that I found it and he was still denying it, he was texting this girl, still trying to cover his ass. Yeah, but so both of you, both of you, I'm not, I'm not the only guilty person here. What are you and talking about? I'm not about? saying that, but that's what I'm saying. We will never trust each other ever again. Therefore, we need to part ways. I love you enough to let you go. For real. That's how I feel. If you want to leave by yourself, 
That's a strong woman symbol. She wants to go by herself. Listen, stop. Like, get off of me. Listen. No. Hey, it's not. Come on, Eric. I am we're done with it. Both, I'm done both, with it. We're both dirty. You've been doing this. You've been chasing so me for you, a year. Like, I'm not saying I'm innocent. So but, if you're, like, if you you're not innocent, you how are you going to. That's what I'm looking at. Look what, what you've been you doing. Still, you were, you've been doing that you for three weeks before. To find. Because I wanted to know. Why didn't you just tell me? I don't know. Maybe I did it. You were still lying. You can't talk. You know how you are. You can't speak to me like You can't speak to you like that because you know how you are. You lie and you lie. You never change. Yes, I will. Find yourself and then come hog at me. For real. Come on, babe. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Lovers Lies and Ugly Truths. Get off of me, no! Today on Trisha. Okay, do you want to give someone in your life a lie detector test? Well, if you want them to come meet Tim Acosta, go to our Facebook page or to thetrishashow.com and we will get back to you right away. Take yeah. care.